Today on Another Note. I want to talk about the business side of sports. Okay. It is a business and we keep trying to downplay it and be like, oh, it's just recreational. Mm. You know, it's just mm -mm. something to do on your Saturday mm -hmm. afternoon. Yeah. But let's be honest, mm -hmm. over the last, I would say, two years, BBI athletes have been killing it yes. in the yes. sport yes. arena. Yes. On the highlight note, we're going to talk specifically about Brent Hoyt. Yay. Our musical athlete. He has one girl music academy. Yes. So it's keeping the legacy of music alive for the youth and the BBI. Taking your kids to this academy, you have the best. Would you guys go 50-50 on a dinner date with your partner? Whoever <laughs> asks is who is responsible. Yeah! Hey, cat, no, you buy me dinner, far. you don't need to be in a relationship. You need to go get a job. <laughs> and on that note, we'll just kind of switch it up. Vitality Institute. So mm. it's a fraternity that we joined, and they are revolutionizing chemical heels. Reverse. Welcome back to On Another Note. <laughs> so glad to have you guys back for another episode. And yes, yes, mm -hmm. yes, for beautiful ladies. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I know oh. you're watching for the food, the fashion, and the females. No? Okay. Yes, females. <laughs> <Sure. laughs> <laughs> yeah, so how was the week, everyone? It was good. I would say it was a productive one for me. No complaints. Relaxation, productivity. That's awesome sauce for me. Good. Okay. Mine is just kind of, I wind down to mm -hmm. then wind right back up. Oh. I, I, like, I have to try to stop yeah. doing that because I just feel like it's like a high and a low and a high and a low. Yeah, yeah, so it's like yeah. the makeup class, the buju is a high, and then the week after is like a low, and then I'm preparing to go away. Oh, like a little girl's getaway. Where are you going? And it's like a That's high. Tell us. Tell us. us. I want to come. Say. Okay. Tell us. Wait, what is this, Aaron? We're just going <laughs> to. What is Aaron? Oh, I'm going to um, St. Vincent Carnival. Ooh. Ooh. Yes, I'm going to Sokolam. So, I have a special connection. Okay. Yes, you did. <laughs> yeah. So these girls, this girl, this, we have a chat, and I swear this group chat is off the chains of what well, you're bringing, what you're packing. Let me tell bring you. Bring this, bring that. Who got extra bra? You got stick on. They got makeup. They got jewels. <laughs> and St. Vincent Carnival is fire. It's crazy. Even if, yeah. in the preparation, like every two minutes is like this party and that Hello. party and this party. I swear they were partying from since January morning. Yeah. Oh my god. It's goodness. the party yeah, this weekend, even though there's like it's like Trinidad it's going on. Yeah, Saint Trinidad Vincent has a really still, long. St. Vincent is still pop like St. Kitts music fest is happening, but there's a lot of people who also went to St. Mm -hmm. Vincent. Yeah, yeah. And yeah, then like yeah. the big grand everything is next weekend leading oh, up to yeah. the parade on a Monday or Tuesday. I don't even know. This is August. No, this is July. next week. This, this is, is July. 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 Okay. July. We having all this carnival. Um, Madam producer, can we all end up pairing costumes on our next taping? Thank you. Oh! <laughs> I think this is with you. Okay. Yes, so shout out to all the, the troops and who yes. prepare for BBI emancipation. Like this year to me has been the most highly anticipated. Yeah, this year has it been one be of the most but as far as true participation, yeah. I mean, there's a lot, there's there's many a lot of new, there's so yeah. many. I can't even know call the names because I, I can't keep up. I almost <laughs> feel like people are now ready to have a big deal be made out of our um, emancipation. Mm -hmm. Because, because they realize that because we've been, been losing on the money. But not, no, I don't even think it's that. I think a lot of people have been traveling and seeing a lot of the festivals. What goes on what in other happening countries. everywhere else and yes. they're going, but why we can't have the same? Exactly. Yeah. And I think yeah. that's what's yeah. happened this Let year. Let me tell you, Good. even in preparing to go to St. Vincent, every party that these girls, like we've purchased tickets to go to, costs $75 and up US. And you paid. And I'm paying it. <laughs> and I don't even know who coming. I ain't even know what getting every time a card swipe it. I just like a look yeah, gag another gray hair. No, but it's like, you know, I made 30 this year, so I'm trying to like really celebrate. That's a big, I remember. Yeah. That's a big number, right? Yeah. So I was just yeah. like, so anytime I hear anybody trying to downgrade and say, oh well, that's um village in, in the BBI need to be twenty dollars or fifteen dollars. I'm like, no, 
No, I don't. Yeah, I do not pay agree. it elsewhere. And listen, I pay I know, big bucks elsewhere, and I don't even know what I'm getting. No, seriously, I think um, just like Adriana said, it's it's it is the festival season, yeah. and you can whether it's ours or it's elsewhere, we kind of feel in that yeah. yes. happiness, that summer vibe. It's it already. You're seeing all mm -hmm. the glow, all the hairstyles, the all humidity, the, you know, I, I <laughs> the whole nine yards. The big up Julie. <laughs> big up to Julie. <laughs> yeah, and I did notice that braids are in for this season. Mm -hmm. All mm -hmm. style. Styles, all types, mm -hmm. like you. I, I actually well. quite love it. Yeah. yeah. I, yes, I saw you rocking braids. I day. did. A rare, oh, like, is that on <laughs> a rare occurrence. Okay, so, girls, I wanted to talk mm -hmm. a little bit about an issue that you know I kind of wish we had a male to discuss with mm -hmm. today. But we're gonna talk about sports. Yes, women and sports. We can talk no, about it too. Not really. Nothing's wrong. We can talk about it. I guess I was like, we need a male to talk about Not that we're doing it. The aspect we're that doing. we're talking about because I want to talk about the business side of, of sports okay. Okay. and the fact that there's not too many women in that industry, one, but mm. two, do we realize that sports is actually a business? Yes. Mm -hmm. yeah. it's, it's, the same with Festival and Carnival. It is a business and we keep trying to downplay it and be like, mm -hmm. oh, it's just recreational. Mm -hmm. You know, it's just mm -hmm. something to do on your Saturday mm -hmm. afternoon. Yeah. And no, like, I mean, for an example, I really seen on Virgin Water are well, I could say the grounds, um, which used to be the festival grounds. Yes. They've transformed that just for football, and yeah. the football association is very serious about repurposing the land and mm. cutting off access to anyone who tried to dig up because no one invests in the land anyway mm -hmm. besides them like you know they're collecting money so whatever money that they raise they really invested in repurposing it just for just for the, for the association yeah. Yeah. For, the, yeah. for people football. who are doing that type of sport and I think it's important for things like that to happen right, because, because let's don't. be honest mm -hmm. but let's be honest mm -hmm. over the last I would say two years BBI athletes have been killing it yes. in the sport yeah. Yeah. arena. Yeah. Like, for real killing mm -hmm. it. And then yeah. when I started yeah. to investigate, I realized, you know, there's big business behind sports. Big. And I don't know that we have been into the business side of it or understand that we as a territory mm -hmm. and the individual clubs like the Virgin mm -hmm. Border, um, Soccer club and the ones in BBI, Girl, the football players. association. Football, <laughs> sorry, sorry. <laughs> football like association. Yeah, not American. <laughs> You check me real quick. <laughs> check me. But the football various. associations, yeah. you know, the various track clubs, the various archery clubs who are now in Dominican Republic yeah. Yeah. competing, the various, yeah, you know, we have a, a lot, lot of tennis clubs, yeah, are, um, yeah. you know, we have a archery, lot all this, of these. Yeah. And we have people and, and who are even pushing their children to take it seriously. Yeah. Like, yeah. From it's, young. It's far beyond Swimming. just recreational yeah. or a hobby Absolutely. or afternoon extracurricular yes. activity. And I know of one little girl from BVI who is away at school and she's studying gymnastics. So mm. we may yep. potentially oh, have yes. a BVI a gymnastics wow. um, awesome. person or possibly team. Like, yeah. I mean, this is exciting. But I find the athletes do take it serious. The society or the community, they don't. They don't. Really they don't, they don't. They don't. Right. Because I remember when Buju was coming someone was commenting that they should have hosted there at the track and field since it's so big and wow. I saw a lot of parents and athletes were like no they will mess up the ground yeah. and this and that I and agree. then they were trying to explain about that's where they practice and mm -hmm. they need it and I was like that's when I went ahead and I said, okay, they this, take it really serious. They do. Yeah, yeah. Because yeah. Because you so cannot, important. You yes. The that, facilities that, that are ground, important. What they practice it, on, yes. the, whether it is a track or whether it is a Basketball, football. Yes. Yes. Rugby. It's crazy. Yeah. Yeah. And let's just yes. talk about the opportunities this sports industry presents to the kids. Oh, not kids. Mm -hmm. to, to the children. To who athletes. Don't, to in general, because yeah. we're adult athletes. athletes. Who yeah. don't have the financial fortitude to go off to college. Can we insert a round of applause here? And they need to actually go on and fulfill their aspirations. Inspirations. And it this is, is a such wonderful a, opportunity. Yes, so is. let's just talk about that part. Yeah, I think it's important for us to look at that amazing. because, I mean, let's be honest. When I went off to college, we had scouts who came to my high school and the opportunities were brought to me. Mm -hmm. So my parents, my yeah. mom didn't have to try to figure out, okay, well, how do we exactly. do this? Because mm -hmm. the opportunities were brought and yes. then they were able to walk you through. If you do this, these mm -hmm. are your options. If you do that, these are your yes. options. If you do, I would and we don't have that. And I would more really in the love for us to follow well, that. For all sports I think they do oh, students but we just who don't get know. scholarships. No, but, but, I mean, but the opportunities are Oh, yeah, we don't have that much. It could be the financial resources are not there. 
I, it I could do also believe. be that you need someone to stand behind the, the, the matter. Do you we, know what we, I mean? We need to push it to advocate for, yeah, it. Yes. Yeah, yeah, so yeah. taking it seriously is the step one. So we yeah. have to, as a territory, understand that form so we could understand I think it, we know, you know, the, the people, problem is we just have a... we. We have other things on our high list. Yeah. So tourism Priorities. is on our high list. Mm -hmm. You know, we have financial services on our high list. And then we sometimes forget we have education on our high list. But yes. we forget that along with those things comes our sporting industry. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Because if you those pair the sports into ministry where if you pair it with education, sometimes it it gets put into that 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 main heading or is like a sub out of education yes. and it doesn't yeah. necessarily get the, sh the, the shine, shine that it, that it, and it deserves to say, okay, well, under Absolutely. sports, even when you go to youth affairs and sports, it's like, yeah. well, you, it's, it's like, like a, a department. It is. Yeah. That's how I, I look at are it. Those, are those <laughs> officers, are they given the tools that they need to actually yes. facilitate and exactly. assist all these other clubs and associations? Yes. Yes. And are they mm -hmm. properly equipped with the, the right level of personnel right. who have the contacts? Because yeah. in the sporting industry, contacts are important. They mm -hmm. do. You listen to like, there's a, um, I don't know his name. It's Greenaway. Dean Greenaway with yes. the sports beat. He's yeah. on the radio and I find myself listening to him. And I he love him. Dean, shout out to you. He has the voice. He brings people from all over the oh, yeah. world, all over the Caribbean. Oh, yeah. and he industry. has his interviews, but it's like, are you really listening to what he's saying? He even sometimes he's like, this person is so important to us right now. It's yep. a big yes. deal that I'm yes. talking yes. to you. Yes. Right. It's like, you know. It do or should or do we really care that this person from a scout <laughs> from St. Croix is here to talk yeah, and about how excellent yeah. some of these athletes of ours are, or we're just bypassing it and we're waiting for you know other fluff in the media? Exactly. It should be a and big even deal. about it the really high low, like what Adriana was saying, basketball, it was so high. Oh, it was such yeah. an outing. Everyone example. was pushing it, and now it's like. Yeah, right it's like there. summer jam. Structure. What's a summer yeah. jam? Like, no, no one is doing it and, anymore. And summer jam so was one of the big the things for us because yes, college, um, college teams came and yes. so did their coaches. Yep. Yeah. So a lot of our members then went off yeah. to yes, study the older ones they actually did. there were college recruits here. And we yeah. need to get back to that. We so did. I really wanted us to talk about this a little bit because yeah. I think it's important. Our athletes are doing well and I think Absolutely. we really, really need to and they're highlight. They're working hard. They do really, they train really, really a lot. Mm -hmm. everything yeah i think it's so important so guys w it doesn't matter what level of sport it doesn't matter mm -hmm. the type to be frank cheerleading is a sport the girls Absolutely. are doing amazing well, they, 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 they just just went to come up. Oh, yes. three of them want three of them yes, selected they, they actually only three of them went and they did something and they were selected. They, yeah. All three were selected. For an all American an something. Yes. Yes. They're going to be on traveling to London. Yes. And all Hello, that. this is Ooh, big news. I'm the not sure I'm going to go to They went to a chair conference. Yes. I remember my days of chair conference. Yes. Oh, yes. yes. Listen, they went to a chair listen, conference. Listen, let me tell you something. Angel is like the official hype. Hype lady <laughs> for cheerleaders. Like this is a whole oh, other person. This is a whole other person. That's when she yes. had her braids. I was like, people didn't the, realize that I used to be mama in the middle of the court, and then she was like, I am a cheerleader, and I was like, okay, <laughs> all right. Please Are add you? pastoral um flower <laughs> hair. Okay, so add the pastoral color. Add my chair skirt. The pastoral lady <laughs> to your and next chair event. Skirt. She's the real hype lady. She was hyped. Sure yeah, that. but no, I used to I used yeah. to be a cheerleader all through high school, mm -hmm. um, and so it only because sport. of injuries I didn't continue in college. Yes. Mm -hmm. But because um, I was also an athlete, I, I ran track, I played volleyball, nice. so I was a student That's athlete. So, so I understand uh -huh. the importance <laughs> so of. I was. Let me tell you the truth. Listen, I was a subpar athlete. You know those athletes that you have on the team because oh, yeah, they, they have hearts. They have hearts. They don't matter. They got hearts. That was me. But he was like, bring Angela. She got hyper cell. <laughs> you were always benched. I was it's always benched. It's what? I don't believe it. I used to run in primary school because it was so small, so we didn't have much you're gonna, options. You're going to make it. You no. know what? We're going to take a break in this conversation because I ain't no school <laughs> daily. <laughs> but no, seriously, seriously. But I was one of those athletes who um, was, you know, I wasn't the best athlete in the world, but I love sports and I would mm -hmm. do it with all my heart. Mm -hmm. And I think a lot of um, recruits and uh, other people saw that in me. Yeah. So mm -hmm. I was able to go off to college and be a student athlete, you know, yes, and, 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 and do well enough until I was injured. Mm -hmm. But for me, all things are sports. We got two mm -hmm. swimmers who mm -hmm. are 
working hard to yeah. make our Olympic mm -hmm. teams. We have got our yeah. archery team. We have got our football team, our soccer yes, team. Yes, we talk sorry. about yes. the hurdlers. We got soccer. rugby. Football. football. Said right? I said it right? Okay, mm -hmm. football yeah. team. We've got our rugby team. Yeah. We have our mm -hmm. track team, yeah. basketball. Yeah. We I have mean, a lot. We have a lot of teams. So, so it's like, how well. can people not be interested? It's like so many things. And even the gymnastics, I feel you on that one because now even my little one, she's bending over backwards and doing things. A lot of like, acrobatics. Oh, 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 a lot of yes. acrobatics are happening yeah. in the dance schools. We've yes. also got a lot of, um, what do you call the, the um, yeah, acrobatics. Yeah, and they're being and certified. Yeah, yes. 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 they're doing yes. it. And they're being yes. certified. I, it, it, I think it's forward to that. Where they can move forward. That. Yes. Yeah, yeah really so good. definitely. If you have not had an opportunity to, I, I urge you, go ahead and just Google BVI Athletes. We've been doing a lot of amazing things for the yeah. last couple of weeks. Mm -hmm. And right here at Go yeah. so cool. we just want to say we're proud of you. Every wow. athlete, whether you have placed or you did not place, if you represented our territory, <laughs> we are super <laughs> duper proud. proud. Yeah. Like, yeah, yeah BBI pride. I wish we had that flag. I'm, to <laughs> no, I'm like, so proud. So, yeah, right. let's yeah. make sure that we, nice we do a little bit more to um, invest in our sporting arena. Yeah, we'll just call invest. for all the powers that be. Yeah. 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 And on that note, I'll hand things over to Adri. Yes, yeah, so for it makes sense that we talk about our locals and local athletes to go into our local highlight. Yes. yes. On the highlight note, we're gonna talk specifically about Brent Hoyt. Hey. So our musical athlete. Can you hear the rhythm already? Yes. yes. <laughs> So going into specically Brent Hoyt of Homegrown, mm -hmm. Homegrown Music, yes. we yes. know yes. him. Yes. He's he right. has Homegrown yes. Music Academy. Yes. Yes. So it's keeping the legacy of music alive for the youths and the BVI. So it was something that he started after the hurricane, mm. um, giving children opportunities, I guess, to just um, invest more in their musical talent. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And that's amazing. Uh, you know, after the hurricane, I always say this, I feel like this is my, after the hurricane, we were just so... <laughs> Just to, mm -hmm. No, but, but I mean, but seriously, after the hurricane, good things he took yeah. it. He oh, everybody time. like yeah. he he they were doing time. it before. It was like, yes. They were doing it before, but he just took it full time. He just took it full time. Yeah, yes. in October 2017. Because he was like, he homegrown, and yeah. I've seen like I've seen the studio and stuff yeah. before. Yeah. But they started but doing full time the, the music academy portion yes. of it. Because he was teaching at high school. Yes, I remember him teaching at high school. He was a wonderful teacher. And he did a campaign. But now I guess he just his love is just music, so he just took it. But I mean, have you seen? So like talented. the trend that everyone who was like, so you know, after they felt however they felt when we went through all that stuff in 2017, it's like it almost planted a seed of like drive. Yes, like yes. All these entrepreneurs are popping up, and it's like, you know mm -hmm. what? Or even if they were entrepreneur before, it's like even now they're putting even more, more love effort. and attention oh, yeah. and yes. effort Agreed. into their businesses mm -hmm. to be like, okay, well, if I did makeup before, even now more than ever, I'm like, yes, you gonna yes. buy makeup oh, from yeah. me? Mm -hmm. You gonna book makeup from me? You gonna have a web? I have a website. <laughs> there, so but you know what it reminds me? It's not like <laughs> has it has anyway, back to Brent Hoyt. So I'm very sure. <laughs> Yeah, sorry. <laughs> I'm very sure. Homegrown Music Academy. You can find the. Let's talk about the academy. The academy officially started in October 2017. It catered to students mm -hmm. ages six and up. Currently provides piano. That's amazing. Yeah. Piano, bass, guitar, guitar, drums, saxophone classes. So they're located Long Bush mm -hmm. upstairs of Motions Building. It almost looks like containers, but you can you can't <laughs> miss the Motion sign. Mm -hmm. Like you know, yeah. like yeah. Motion so after you see it, yeah. yeah, right up yeah, yeah, Gotta like bypass that. so much other little distractions. So when you yes. see, I think it's purple. I don't know. It's like a purpley or dark. It's gray Bush, or they right? painted yeah. it. Once you drive straight All up, I think Bush. straight But they oh, have yeah. a motion sign, so yeah. you can't so miss that, that sign. Mm -hmm. When you go, it's upstairs of the motions building, and you can contact them at 442 mm -hmm. That is 442-442-85. <laughs> See, I have to look again. 3581. I'm sorry, Lord. 3581. Mm -hmm. 3581. The, yeah. the one before that was Digicel, right? 
don't mind us. <laughs> <laughs> Local talk. But I mean, <laughs> the thing is with Brent, I mean, not only does he have this academy, Brent is internationally known. Yes. 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 For his is. music. Hello. He was yeah. given so a prize versus, recently, wasn't he? An award. Yeah, yeah. An award. Yeah, yeah. He's somewhere. He in makes Atlanta. Are they, are they way there? there? And they're now? I think oh, they're yeah. in Atlanta I saw now. something and I was like, wow. Yeah. They actually got something. His versatility is just, I mean, it makes me think. Like, have you ever been around him? Like on a downtime, this he's such a humble. down to earth, humble. Goofy. He's hyper. <laughs> he's like <laughs> well, he's hyper, yes. But <laughs> yeah, but he's like so we, we love funny. You guys, seriously, like. Yeah, yeah. And then when you see him like go into the music, it's, it's like, like he's in a whole other yeah. world. Yeah. He's not even physically His here. Long yeah. shows, yeah. Right. the way he does. Because he's playing yes. the piano and is like, everything. are you pushing keys, sir? And you hear in his melody. Do you guys like, know that I think geez. he learned most of these instruments. I mean, on his own, his, like no, he his didn't. Parents, actually, his parents, were musicians. Parents, were musicians. Yeah. But I mean, so like he, he didn't have that to musical write. background. It, it, just, it yeah, seems natural. natural like, training. Like, and he yeah. just keeps on add, adding more and more mm -hmm. instruments. So talented, right? He's really, he's I amazing. It's insane. So that's why I mean, car taking your kids to this academy, you have the best, definitely mm -hmm. the best on the island to train. Like that's when my you go to church, my personal preference, and you might hear a song, and the song has a certain beat, you'd be like, who? This beat is a little catchy, and well, we know we know <laughs> we know the new era. Yeah, yes. well, the new era we're in. I mean, it is With what it is. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And even the era, even up for the the secular side, mm -hmm. you mean it is what it is. Mm -hmm. Some of the beats from your right. favorite band, so, yeah, yes. yeah. Brent uh, and Homegrown, is right. behind of it. He yes. was, he yes. was, yes. was and you, about you'll be him. like, really interesting. Yes. Yeah, yeah. And and during the international festival. Uh, yeah. During the Cruzion Festival, a lot of the artists were really bigging him up on the radio, just yes. listening to Isle 95. Every, they were coming on talking about, yes, I, I went over to Totola and I met up with Brent Hoyt. Yeah. I was like, yeah, I'm up with Brent The band that he is in, they're always in St. Thomas as well, so yeah. they yeah. usually go over a lot. So they, like, they just lot. started this whole new movement yeah. and they're just catching on like wildfire. So big up Brent Hoyt. Yeah. Big up to Homegrown Music Academy. Yes. Again, if you want to contact them, 442, I said it, 8531. Ah, ah. 3581. Hey, 85, but I'm sure you can find them on Facebook. Yes. Mm -hmm. Um just go in fact even just googling homegrown homegrown um, music studios on yep. Facebook. Yes. Yep. Mm -hmm. And then you find any all the information you need about the academy. Mm -hmm. So I think that's awesome. Yeah. yeah. And I and, and here's another plug for our locals. Remember this summer is wear local summer so whether it's the makeup that you buy buy it Ooh. local whether it's the clothes whether it's the t-shirt brand buy local mm -hmm. this summer i want to give a shout out to some local persons who have been sponsoring and supporting mm -hmm. us Absolutely. over these last few episodes we're on season three i think yes. yeah we're in season three so Already. we've had three seasons of on another note of and we awesomeness. want to say thank you to a few people but first our fashion. Do you see us? Of course. Can you see us? Does, can so we have got tell? Duo Collection. Thank you. Yes. Nadia, Nadia, and call duo. me. Listen, Nadia, call me. Clutch. <laughs> Nadia, call clutch. me. Clutch. I swear. I love. love the fact that all her pieces are always very wearable. The colors. Yeah. I love the she I'm has that very light, powerful. airy feel. You know, it appeals to different body yeah. types. Yes. Yeah. It appeals and to different get a complexions. Style. It is awesome. Yeah. And then we can't forget Umi. the ever so faithful. Of course. Umi. Me. So Always. anything high fashion, <laughs> any street fashion, you definitely find yep. it at Umi. And she, she always has the latest yes. brands and styles. <laughs> so you don't want to miss that. Check out the earrings. Yes. Oh, check, 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 check out the earrings. Yeah, they're like, gorgeous. They're just go perfect. These are absolutely gorgeous. These are absolutely gorgeous. Do you not like my work <laughs> too? Do you do it? It? I'm At least you said my twice. I would have stuttered. <laughs> and then um, Adriana and I are wearing our own pieces. If you know me, then you know everything that I'm wearing was purchased locally. My um, pieces were purchased from Parad I'm going to say it wrong. What is Petra's place on Main Street? Glamorous Fashion. Glamorous <laughs> Fashions. So my pieces were purchased from Glamorous Fashion. She has nice the jewelry. Yeah. Um, and then I always get my shoes from someplace locally. I think these were from... Um, People's shoe store. I might nice. be wrong, but yeah. And then Adrian and is these wearing. were purchased from dot com. <laughs> 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 and Angel, but the rest of dot com. So those I also came about? from Umi, their earrings that okay. you're wearing. Ooh. Yeah, thank you, so Umi. I got those from Umi months ago. Thank you to Did nice. Yourself for providing me with <laughs> <laughs> Wi-Fi to order. 
<laughs> no, literally, this is like such a. It's. it's I can't. I, I don't want to say old, but it's an older top. So if you see me in this or somewhere else on my Facebook page, and why will be mind your business. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> there you go. So definitely, at this point, we're gonna take a break. We're gonna talk a little bit about fashion, and we're gonna yep. get back into some other conversations. Yes. We'll be right back. Stay tuned. <laughs> Would you guys go 50-50 on a dinner date with your partner? Whoever <laughs> asks is who is responsible. <laughs> yeah. Hey, no, you don't. Dinner, far. you don't need to be in a relationship. You need to go get a job. <laughs> and on that note, we'll just kind of switch it up. Vitality Institute. So mm. it's a fraternity that we joined, and they are revolutionizing chemical heels. Shavander Naturals. Handmade natural products made in the British Virgin Islands. Our products are sourced from natural and sometimes organic ingredients. Shivanda Naturals is the perfect gift for your loved one this season. Try our hair and body butters, natural handmade bar soaps, lip balms, shampoos, conditioners, oils, pomades, and scrubs. Also available for wholesale to hotels, bed and breakfast, as well as retail markets. Call us at 443- 5404 or send us an email at shivanda at gmail.com At Horizon Catering, we deliver the highest quality food, innovative presentations, and professional services. We know how important catering is to your event, so we cut no corners to ensure a satisfying and a memorable event. We can turn your next event from the ordinary to the extraordinary. For the highest quality food, innovative presentations, and professional services, call Horizon Catering at 284-499-2132 or 499-2142. Welcome back to On Another Note. Now, I'm feeling like part of the team, guys. <laughs> <laughs> uh, kills it, I feel so good to be here, but I'm coming straight with the hot topic for today. Woo! Let's go. <laughs> Hello. Hello. <laughs> would you guys go 50-50 on a dinner date with your partner? You mean? Yes. Would you pay? Yes. Yeah. Is a new man I don't I know? Mean, no. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. my man? Yes! <laughs> because I'm going to buy the food because he's going to pay the daycare this month. Yeah. But, but some people say differently now. If it's, okay, we don't date it. So you don't really see true. it. But if you're it's dating and you go out and the date is not going well at all, you think that man is going to want to pay the full bill? I'm going to go to the bathroom Hello. and don't come back. No, no, no. Okay. It's a contract we entered into before we had, before we arrived. So this is how Americans so, so do it. So you feel men should be obligated to pay? Well, this is no. how Americans do it. Americans yes. do it this way. Whoever <laughs> asks is who is responsible. Really yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. So you would often hear the phrase, okay, we're, I, I'd like for us to go out, but we would go Dutch. Have you guys heard that? That means the Dutch people. Yes. yes. That means that. the Dutch people always pay half <laughs> Okay. When you say Damn. American, you mean like not America. Because USVI is not like that. Yeah. They don't USVI men, we coming for you. I've had an experience I know. in college where I was asked to go out, and I'm, I'm in college. I want to party. I want to have fun. So you know, I got ready, and you know, you always have that money in your bag just your in case. Money? Yeah. Were you yeah. wearing the vex money? <laughs> yes, so money. we yes. went out to um the club. I forgot the name of it. And the boy who I was with, and I was with friends as well, of course, he was like, oh, it's $40 to get in. I was like, oh, yeah? I, I, I'm waiting on him to pay. No, he's telling me, where's oh, your no, $40? Not... <laughs> <laughs> I was like, no, I felt like, no, how no. Old were, how old were you? Wow. I was, was like, he? Growing 19 enough. or 20, I was like 19 or 20. He was a bit older, but it's not like we were alone. Yeah. It was more like a group outing, but he asked me if I wanted to come. So I'm like, oh, okay. well, you expected that this was going to yeah. lead to another day. Oh, no, 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 no. He expected that you were just going to go out that night and see. Yeah. That's what it seems but like. I, but I, the experience with you, SBI men, I can vouch for that. Uh -huh. They definitely uh -huh. agree. I'm with you. They don't understand the concept of. 
that I have seen of yeah. And Chachola they, men do. I, I BBI men are that. different. When I started dating that. my husband, most of them. He was he paid, he paid once he asked he actually even even, even when if I you said don't ask. let's I think can we go out to dinner blah 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 you know my treat he won't let me pay he would be no that's okay I got this mm -hmm, mm -hmm. but I'd be no, like my you. money is my money and your money is our money. <laughs> but you, some men, I they like don't that. Even let you see the bill. They just like know the bill is there, so yeah. Take your I like that. That's what I mean. But again, yeah, yeah. I would treat, man, if you out there, I got the bills for Share this with a USVI man. Let's find <laughs> out. You know, comment on the, our page O A N Talk on Facebook. This o A N um, O A N Talk. Glad you don't try to hold. You, you don't try to hold USVI a little bit. Listen, first of all, we <laughs> already <laughs> saw yes. that they didn't have yes. next money when they went over to Facebook. Specify island now. So, you put uh, Tinder, 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 the whole, the whole. We putting all y'all in there. So we're going to need y'all, your women and your men to defend themselves, okay? Right, they're going to come for us. Let's get ready. Come ready. Come come ready. ready. <laughs> from, I mean, for me, I would say, I like the first thing you said. If it's your man, I mean, y'all together, you could go 50-50 sometimes. Yes, yes. yes. It's, agree, not, it's not a rule that we must go 50-50. Mm -hmm. right. so I, I definitely, I like, we, we end up, my, in my family, we don't necessarily do 50-50. It's either or. You know? Uh, yes, no yes, 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 yes. Like, and it's okay and we just for naturally, women to treat a man. It's yeah. okay for that too. So yeah. we shouldn't feel a way if we are paying sometimes. But I have paid before because sometimes I want to take care, especially yes. if you're not my boyfriend. But I don't want to pay myself. I would give him the money to pay. Oh, no. I, 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 Hello, no, go no, back no. to season no, one. No, no, no. I talked about this no, in season wait, wait, one. <laughs> when Adriana talked about, was it season one or season two when I Adriana had the episode on the macho men? Then yeah, no, no, I can take that. I can take the check. If I, I want to take the check, I take the check. I, I don't know. I'm giving no man my money to he to pay the <laughs> to boost the ego. I'm going out with some. I'm going out with a soft dude. I'm going out with her. I, oh, I, I, he mother, no. I feel, I, I date to nobody to be their mother. We, no, no, we, no, we no, women expect them, them to pay. No, no, no. <laughs> I'm looking at it from a different perspective. Not necessarily from dating. But in dating, yes, he paid uh -huh. all the time. He would pay, yes. But what if he, don't, if in, he didn't like what the, how the date went? What if he don't want to see you again? I haven't had the bill and buy. Pay the bill and buy. Okay, so wait. Or if you eat that bowl and be like, I ain't really enjoying it. What about Ditto? What about, okay, you like the date, you want to see him Here's again, my card. Here's your card. but he don't have that kind of money to be taking Well, he don't need to be seeing the body who ain't got no money later. Get oh, away, I got bills and responsibility. Okay, wait, 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 let's give the men, child and I don't have let's, for let's give the men a break. Let's give the men a break. So basically, we're, we're saying... Well, I don't need to be dating no, anybody that don't... Right they, you cannot take care mm. of yourself. If you ask me out and you cannot pay the bill, then you clearly aren't in a in a position to be in a relationship, let alone go oh, to dinner with me. Y'all going that far. You shouldn't be going oh to dinner God. with me. You and shouldn't she be, gave a side you, side. He could have <laughs> do something else Our if that was the case. But don't, don't right put now, yourself in a vulnerable <laughs> position where I now have to look like the man or having to stroke your ego and give you $50 under the table mm -hmm. so you could pay for two burgers. I'm right? done it. I'm oh, done it, guys. You should have, you should have cook at home, cook meal and put a little blanket in the hallway and say, babes, things green, rough, brown, <laughs> whatever. Yeah. And then put some candle lights. I saw the grocery store got a you little key light for $50 or 50 cents for one get like 10 of them little lights and like get popping for your phone and get we're little... coming for y'all today <laughs> creative but i'm not in a position to having to raise our next man no yeah, yeah. no i have to raise now. raising a man to go put him in a position to be a never man go back there. i did it already i did it twice okay so wait, so wait so wait so wait i still have residue bills from a man no and not emotional money. Money. i'm 30 years old like raising a man so she's saying it now but it it ha you have experienced it somewhat. and i got student loans from a man like no <laughs> get away you can't no, you buy me dinner far. you don't need to be in a relationship you need to go get a job <laughs> And save <laughs> or two because sometimes Horrible. the one is not. Listen, we're it. usually nicer, but this topic. Let me tell y'all a story. I'm gonna try to wrap it up really fast. I was in some type of situation where the person was like, "You babe, you had a relationship." Yes, he was like, "Babe, you had like a hard, you had a hard week of work or whatever the you had a hard week of work or whatever the case is." And I was like, "Yeah, you know, X Y Z." He was like, "I want to take you. I want to treat you. Remember my hair? You keep talking about this place, and I gotta take you there." And I was like, er. "I said, you know, this place ain't, ain't cheap. You know, this place is like forty dollars." each person plus you know tax or well, whatever tax, else but yeah. and he was like no 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 i'm gonna take you i'm gonna take you just be ready we're gonna go this sunday and i was like yeah sure and i said okay 
I went out with the poor saying, no, if, you know Adriana, Adriana was broke a clock. I said, no, it's not <laughs> broke It's so not situation <laughs> pay <laughs> period. <laughs> I don't have any money for that. Like, that's not in my budget for the month to go sit and spend 40 mm -hmm. plus dollars for food. I got food at home. He was like, no, I just want some chilling, whatever. I said, cool. Now, I had one little card. God bless a relative of mine. It was around my birthday, and she put $100 on a card. I had the card. I walked with that card. I walked with nothing else but that one um, uh, Visa mm -hmm. card. And then Omar, he was like, yeah, let's go to this place. We went to the place. First of all, he wasn't dressed appropriately. Second of all, we went to the place, and I kept saying, are you going to change? No? Okay. Then when the food comes, the he ate. He, he ordered. I know what my limitations was in life. Can I have water with lemon, please? <laughs> I don't want to do anything else. And he was like, I'll have the passion fruit, and I'll have the lemonade. And before I blinked, this nigga had three. Sorry, look. Before I blinked, this man had three three extra drinks that was not included in the $40 or you can eat so and so. And I said to myself, ooh, this is, you know, when the bill come back, it was like 160 something dollars. I said, oh, okay, okay. He gonna bust me. I only have $80 because I had to give my mother gas money and I had to give no. my mother grocery money. And I, I said to myself, take me home. I pull up like, it's like a while. And I just went mute because I didn't want to embarrass him or me in public. More so me than he didn't care about him. <laughs> but me, because I know the waiters, they know, they knew my mother. They were like, how yes. long I see your mother so long? And I was like, ah, I heard this man is <laughs> broke. <laughs> so I pull out my card and I pay the difference and I tell them, let's go home. He was like, oh, I wanted to stay late. I wanted to oh. catch a late ferry and spend time with you. I said, no, I have to do is treat Tati. We're going to catch this for Tati boat. <laughs> Moral of the story is, you got to money, stay your broke self home. Okay. Whoa. Story time with Adriana right here on another note. Mm -hmm. I love it. Uh, there, well, there were vibes here. Eh? You ain't got no money, stay home. And on that note, we'll just kind of switch it up. From the <laughs> that time was too hot. <laughs> and then I get so passionate about relationships because okay, I just felt like, you know. Let's so take it down. I kind of terrible feel, experience. Oh, no. we're, gonna, we're, gonna, we're gonna like have some usa let's moments come. so we can get <laughs> into our health mood. Three to one, one, two, three. Don't let poor health guys move. bother me. Touch that airlock. <laughs> Deep breaths in and I can't touch out. it. I can't move the air. Yes. Now we're going to switch Usa. it up here completely. <laughs> it's like making a 180, okay? We're going to be talking about that exfoliation. Just take my feelings. Take my feelings. Yeah, I'm going to, yeah. I'll grab that for you. So on our last episode, I was talking a little bit about that exfoliation yes. drive. We were talking mm -hmm. about getting that oh, deep breathe. cleansing. We were talking about getting that nice smooth tone and texture that you want by actually putting in the work, yeah. adding some yeah. retinol mm -hmm. and so on. So let's say that, I mean, you've tried all that. Your tone is still a little bit imbalanced. Or let's just switch it into anti-aging. Some people, as we get over like 30 somethings, Hmm. Sometimes we Adrian, get a welcome. little bit of welcome, indeed. welcome, welcome. Over thirty something. Sometimes we have a little bit of fine <laughs> wrinkles. We have a little bit of blotchy skin tone or darkness that we really it ain't accumulate. Green, green nice at all. Over this is the, the worst years. acne I've ever experienced in my life. <laughs> so, well, I have to say, um, my company we joined or we we partnered with mm -hmm. a company called Vitality Institute. So mm. it's a fraternity that we joined, and they are revolutionizing chemical heals. Oh. Do you guys know what chemical peels are? Yeah, oh, definitely. I've had one with you. You've had one with I you. think I saw it so on your Adri, Facebook. Yes. Mm -hmm. So, Adri, tell us what you felt during that chemical peel mode. I want you to describe the peel moment. I know we did a little bit of laser. We did a laser acne facial laser as well. Nothing. But she didn't keep up. She's like the worst client. The peel. Oh. I was looking for her to come <laughs> back so I could keep she it just up. Was, I gone. was waiting for Shaq to call she me. She went M-I-A. I'm ready. I'm ready. Next. Peel me this week. <laughs> peel me. I'm begging for it. I'm going to be I need the glow. <laughs> <laughs> Tell us how you felt during that chemical The burn. The burn. Mm. I so, mean, I thoroughly enjoyed it. Because, I mean, you know, you walk into Brevator and it, 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 it's an experience. Not necessarily you walking in just to go. So, you know, some places you just want to go get your nails done or whatever and run and out. And get out. And then other places it's like, you know, hello, how you doing? Welcome. Mm -hmm. And I went on a day where it wasn't even all of that and it was still an experience. Oh, you know, it, really yeah. good. Dr. Shaq. So, walking in, she's showing you this is the room and this is the procedure. This is the bed. You're going to lay down. This is what to expect. And every step of the way, you know, like I'm putting on my gloves. You might feel stinging. You might not. 
not, you might just feel like a thousand bees stinging you, Lord that's Jesus. That's essentially mm. the part that I wanted you to get. Yeah, yeah. So that, that thousand that bees moment. Yes. I was like, so, hello. Exactly. So let me explain. So there are different levels to a chemical peel. And we do peeling if we want to exfoliate. So mm -hmm. now when we were doing the um, hydrofacial, it was more so for deep cleansing, mm -hmm. not necessarily mm -hmm. having any downtime or to take off any like, excess excessive amount of skin but the peeling now you're actually deliberately removing the top layer of ah, your skin okay, okay. Mm. there are different there are different levels to that though there's very superficial where you barely have any downtime mm -hmm. but you do still feel like a i like to describe it as a spicy feeling mm -hmm. and that spicy feeling can go up in intensity depending on the level of glycolic we choose now that discomfort sometimes we use a fan to blow on your face Let me tell you. it lasts about five minutes but the good news is it's like 10 hours <laughs> it feels like 10 hours well we were listening to everybody who was saying i want to peel but man i'm so afraid of that spicy experience mm -hmm. so that's why we joined the vitality institute and so you might have heard me talking about vi peel sometimes people call the office and like i want the virgin islands peel <laughs> <laughs> But it's actually the Vitality Institute. Oh, you know, peel. before before I got the the first peel with you, that's what I was looking up. I oh, was looking up. And you saw the, so I was like seeing all these people peeling yes. after a couple of days and looking real gruesome. And I was just like, Shakima, I don't want to peel like that. I Am I gonna peel like that? So <laughs> that's the thing. So Vitality Institute, you are you have to understand the downtime. This one is not the peel where you're just gonna get a little bit of nice glow. That's where the hydrofacial comes in. Okay. We can mm. add a little bit of a peel agent during the hydrofacial so that you don't have the heavy peeling. Mm -hmm. But when it comes to the vi, this is like if you have melasma or this is a lot of um, hormonal pigmenting yeah. around Hello. your cheeks, around your forehead. If you want some aggressive treatment for those, mm -hmm. you get one week downtime with the okay. vi. But the okay. difference between the vi and the regular peel is that you don't feel anything when we're doing it. It's oh. pain free. So no thousand and bees. The no, no pain thousand always. Bees. So what is the difference and in the procedures? So then? essentially is it the, the difference is the product. Oh. So Vi has come up with this revolutionizing combination of um, products that they use to peel. Mm -hmm. So it depends on what type of peel you want. So for example, we have five different types of Vi. We have the regular Vi. Mm -hmm. That one has a mix of like glycolic, salicylic acid, but they have something in it that's a little bit calming, so you don't really feel anything. Mm -hmm. It also comes with a little packet and instructions for what you should do for about okay. three days after the peel. Then mm -hmm. on your third day, then you start to strip. That's the snake pics that you see all over the oh, place. Yes, okay, I okay. see so those. Exactly. Okay. It doesn't happen immediately. But then seven days later, you are revealing your most radiant skin. Oh, nice. So that's the regular one. Just oh, before you ask yes. me, go ahead. We have another one that is Vi Precision, a little bit more. We do neck and chest. And mm -hmm. then there's Vi Precision, Vi Peel with Precision. This one has the regular peel agents mm -hmm. plus a little bit of hydroquinone. So sometimes it has a little bit of lightning agent. So okay. some persons come to us, their face is extremely dark and the neck and yeah, body different color. is a yeah. li different color. So we take it up a notch where that's concerned. We use it in it. It has natural lighteners like kojic acid, okay. um, hydroquinone. We use a little bit of retinoid in it. So it depends on what you need. And we have the Vipurity, which is the acne line that mm -hmm. actually targets the bacteria for acne. So what's in it depends on what your needs are then we select one of the five for you but you will you just answered my question okay. actually but i was gonna ask because my face without mm -hmm. the makeup like yes. i'm lighter in here mm -hmm. and out here i'm darker mm -hmm. so i was wondering if the peel would help to even of the course yes. Yes. absolutely okay. so i mean for that i would definitely say just looking at your skin mm -hmm. i feel like you should do more like the hydrofacial that will get you that if it's well, without the makeup, if mm -hmm. your tone is just gradually a little bit off, then you could just adjust with the hydrofacial. Okay. But if it's a, a more dramatic change, for example, somebody who broke out with acne and they just had a bad experience, so their whole... It looks like polka dots <laughs> everywhere. You guys know Hello, people who I'm have that like up. Okay, clear. what's going on? Okay. <laughs> so persons like that, we want to make sure we do something like a vi because that okay. is yes. going to make you so that's gonna, more intense. More intense. Yes. Okay. So we definitely, of course, tell you to buy your time. As in, at work, you need to say 
maybe you take a few days off because the first three days you can go to gonna walk go you're gonna look change. normal but after that you're gonna actually around your mouth starts to peel first then around Ooh, your nose areas. Yes. Yeah. 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 Okay. but then outside of that your radiant glow afterwards is mm -hmm. what you really want so it's a means of rejuvenation so we for example mm -hmm. we have a few people coming in from different countries to do this peel because it helps with fine lines and wrinkles. Mm -hmm. Let's not just talk about darker skin type, but Caucasian yeah. skin type. It mm -hmm. works across the board from That's the, really from the lightest yeah. to the darkest. So it works across the board. So it's something for us to consider mm -hmm. in terms of if you want that rejuvenation that you, that you really seek. Some mm -hmm. persons after 40, you're feeling like, you know, you get a lot of age spots. Um, Things are just feeling like they're sagging a little bit. Sometimes you can just do something like the Vi and tighten up the skin a little bit. Nice. So okay. it takes off yes. like five years from your nice. skin. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so I it's just that. something to consider. Mm -hmm. I will. I love that you I guys are expanding. Yes. A lot of types. Yeah. I love that. Yeah. I will be trying the hydro one. Yes, yeah. yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So we want to make sure we diversify the things that we do in the practice mm -hmm. um, just to stay on par with the rest of our colleagues outside of the BBL. Yeah. Uh, we plan to be You're doing a good job. In yeah, I think you guys are doing yeah. an so amazing job. We push so, it hard. We push it hard. Yeah, I definitely <laughs> love it. So with that, we're all going to book our appointment during this commercial break. We'll see you when we get back. <laughs> At Blossoms, our floral experts use their creative flair to design beautiful and exotic bouquets. We are the on-island wedding experts, and for boating enthusiasts, we can help you to add a touch of floral elegance, life, and color to your yacht, mega yacht, or super yacht. You can also find a wide variety of silk and dried flower designs, fresh cut flowers, local flowers, tropical blooms, fruit and gourmet baskets, chocolates, balloons, both helium and air filled, various gift items, and an assortment of plush animals. With a floral experience spanning over 28 years, we have earned a reputation for excellence both locally and internationally. We've even worked with celebrities. At Blossoms, we continue to deliver smiles and watch our customers bloom. Thank you guys so much for tuning in for staying with us we are on mm -hmm. season three and it's been an amazing episode yep on top of that we were so lucky for the second time in a row to be able to come back to the pub mm -hmm. seafood and steakhouse in east end if you don't remember it's located right across from harborview marina and restaurant it is the former Emile's, and let me tell you, it has transformed into something absolutely beautiful. Mm -hmm. absolutely. The dining hall experience is just amazing. There's a maitre d' service. Yeah. Uh, there's an elevator if you don't want to take the stairs. Let me tell you, it's just it amazing. on the third floor. You know, yes. the, I love it. I love the bar that's set up by the poolside. They're open only for dinners at this moment, but from 5 p.m. So you can have your happy hour drinks poolside yeah, at yeah, the bar yeah. or you can have happy hour drinks and stay for dinner mm -hmm. um, and trust me the menu is exquisite so you don't want to miss that pub members management staff absolutely love it we're so glad to have our viewers make sure you come look out for adriana and i's live we are definitely going to put something up about our experience <laughs> at the pub um and i think maybe adri will make this a date we'll probably, probably eat at some other places before, before, so who's, who's gonna pay <laughs> who's gonna pay <laughs> Who's gonna pay? Who's gonna pay? 50, 50, 50, 50. I think we're going 50 50 on this one. Y'all going Dutch. We're going Dutch. <laughs> we're going Dutch, Pedro. 
I'm fine with Dutch. Yeah, she's fine with Dutch. We're going with Dutch. We're going with Dutch. I don't have that pressure on females. Like, it's no expectation, but men always come with an expectation, so I have to hit them with it. And like they say here at the pub, if you're still standing straight, then you need another drink. Make sure you uh -oh. stay tuned. You check us out on OA and Talk on our oh, Facebook what? page. <laughs> Go like and subscribe to our YouTube channel on another note, OA and Talk, and then visit us for all the amazing behind the scenes pictures on our Instagram page, yeah. which is OA and so we want to say thank you once again, ladies. It was a good show. Yes. Awesome. It's in Brie. It's family now. So y'all, yes. 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 please God bless you yes. and have a good one. Bye. Bye.